Well guys, it finally happened. The forklift died on us while Jesse was in the bucket. And it's not starting again. That. We called the owner and left a message. That's the best we can do today. It isn't the weekend, so there's hope, but we're gonna have to start our day a little bit differently. Should we tell them that they we cheated on them or should we just let them find out? Well, I, I mean, think they're they probably are. gonna find out anyways, so we might as well like be the yeah, bigger person and tell them. Mess up. But the thing is, they know we do stuff off camera. Right, all the guys, time. we have a life it's off really camera. Nice. I know, it's hard to imagine. Yesterday, Jesse installed our very first window. Well, except for those ones, but those ones we hired out, and this one, Jesse did all by himself. Our thinking is that we have so many windows to share with you guys, but lately we kind of feel like we have just a lot of bad luck and misfortune, so we thought, you know what, we're gonna work through the first window off camera, and our goal, again, wasn't mass productivity, it was simply to find out what problems we're gonna run into. And I think, Jesse, so far there's really no problems. The first window went smooth, correct? Right. So because window number one went correct, and because we're kind of waiting on roofing, we figured, you know what, let's switch to window install, and let's see how far we can get. We do need the forklift, ultimately, to do the windows, but we keep kind of like, okay, this isn't working, what can we do? That's not working, what can we do? So I think what we can do today is get the windows sorted, where they go in the house. Heck yeah, it'll be fun. And then we can also work on getting all of the house wrap and the sill flashings Cut, and whatever. all that stuff basically oh. installed. So that all we have to do at that point is put right, the Right, that's in. true. We have, a, yeah, we also have the sills to put in. There's a lot the of work, sills, yeah, there's a lot of work. Lots of prep work. We have tomorrow in the forecast, a high of 104. And that's in town. In our experience, our property's generally about 10 degrees hotter than what the forecast says. 114, there's no way. There's no way that North Idaho has ever seen that temperature. And it seems a stretch that it ever will. But I think like today's really hot, tomorrow's gonna be really hot. So we're just gonna do what we can. And luckily, or hopefully a lot of the prep for the windows we can do in the living level of the house or in the garage. It feels so much better in here than in the direct sun. It it's does. still warm. It's hot right now, yes, but. But it's also the hottest part of the day. And we have no windows or doors. Right, but we, we're very close to ordering our back door for the mudroom and the man yep. door in the garage. We have it picked out. Yep. We're just waiting on one color sample to arrive in a few days, and then we'll almost be ready to be dried in. Yay. My gosh. And the breeze will then be under our control in the living room instead of yes, the other way around. Exactly. So in true SIP fashion, windows and doors are backwards from all traditional framing. You guys will probably recall, on the south wall we had a lot of lumber, but the rest of the walls, very little lumber. On a typical uh, framed house, the windows and doors would be framed with jack studs, headers, trimmers, and all that stuff. But with sips, there's none of that. Which side of the glass is he on? He's on this side, he has his web. Whoa. There's a web there, do you see it? I do now. Wow. I'm not touching it. I think I like him. You know why? Why? He eats, he he eats, eats something hornets. Really. You think? I bet he eats hornets. Look at him. Doesn't he have that like, I eat hornets look about him? All right, guys, I'm going in. This is for size reference. Oh, wow. Look at it. It's bigger than my finger. Okay, it's not a tarantula. We know that. I wonder if he knows he's on YouTube right now. Probably doesn't. He has no idea. What do you think his favorite YouTube channel is? Anyways, one of Alyssa's favorite creatures we just observed in nature is I, spiders. Second I only to snakes. I dislike snakes more than I dislike spiders. Thankfully, snakes don't make webs on windows, so I think we're safe. And, and hopefully there'll never be a snake in our house. Hopefully. I've never seen Bugaboo with a snake in his mouth. Don't that worry. That was a Malik thing. That was a Malik thing, but don't worry. Bugaboo still Just when time. we think we've seen it all, Bugaboo comes home with something new or does something <laughs> new, so. Yep. Luckily, it's happened at least two or three times so far, so it's not as scary as the first time there's a snake in your house, right? Well, there's a first for everything, but after that, you're like, oh, it's just a snake in the house. Oh, just a oh, snake wait. in the house, no you know, deal. whatever, a snake in the bathroom, Jesse, like... Just doing laundry, no big deal. So with sips, 
We need to add the sill and the trimmers and the header to complete the framing of the window. On a separate side note, these bald faced hornets have done a fantastic job rasping this cardboard. Yeah, they have look at, that, look at that whole side. Yeah, they've That's totally insane. demolished this. There's one down there too. They've got to have a monster nest somewhere. Where's the other one? Way down He's there. right there. Look at him go. Munch, 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 munch. These hornets had actually rasped the window that I put in, the wrapping that was on that very successfully. And since I moved it, I see that they've moved on to a new window. So one of the biggest projects that we have to start out with is getting all of the lumber in to complete the framing. Part of that process is air sealing and making sure that the, that the sills and the trimmers and the header are not just there, but also airtight. The south wall is its own beast because there's so much lumber in the wall already that the trimmers and the headers had to be installed to in, uh, in order to install the header panels. So we've already done a lot of that work when this wall was built. So this wall, we only need to do the sill lumber, which will complete this opening. So what we have below that is a small trimmer stud that's attached to the jack stud here. And this is what the sill will actually bear on, but we wanna put a nice bed of foam in here to support the sill across the entire span. That way we don't get a droopy window. How good will it feel to have all of the screws finally put in in this place? It'll feel amazing. Not as amazing as having windows in. Right. We've been just kind of talking about how we're gonna feel once we have our house dried in because we yep. still have nothing in a sense. We still can't live in here. We still don't have any plumbing at all. We don't have any electrical at all. The house is extremely unfinished, but I have a hunch that we're gonna, for the first time, feel what it's like to have a SIP house with an ICF basement. Everything's closed up. We finally get to use and open these windows. Like, we get to open the window for a breeze. Yeah. I think that's gonna feel absolutely amazing. So how much is life gonna change? I don't know, we kinda have our ideas, but yep. it's gonna feel really nice to be dried in. And behind you is more work. <laughs> it's all of our loft flooring, guys. Remember back in the spring when we milled that? And we talked about putting it up there. It's still waiting. We we did decide I'm probably gonna break some of all some of your little hearts. We're gonna paint it white. Oh, At yeah, least the underside. Do you want to tell them now, or do you want to tell them in another video? I say we tell them in another video. When we get to that, you guys will have to stay tuned about why we're painting it white. And all of you wood purists out there are beating your chests and saying, "No, you can't paint wood white. That's a sin." Another video. Another video. Another reason this project feels good is that we're using up a lot of the boneyard. We knew when we were building the sips and using a lot of the two by eight lumber that we had made on the sawmill. If you haven't seen those videos, give them a watch. Uh, we had a lot of scrap left over and instead of tossing it in the burn pile, we actually set it to the side because we knew that we would need a lot of random shorter length lumber for the windows. And today, or this project, we get to start burning through that stuff, which just means less crap on this property. And that's music to my ears. Uh, I think what we need to do is we need to, did you go through the boneyard and get all the two by eight material? I have, yep. Okay, so then we need to rip it down. It's already two by eight, so we don't need to do any ripping. Okay. It fits nice and tight, which it is does. good. Yep. That's really awesome. Yay. So I think we're gonna have to get measurements. Yep. So I think, yeah, we, we can get kind of lumber packages, cut it probably in the garage. Yeah. And then bring it up here and we're gonna shade. Yeah, and then we can work together foaming it, screwing yeah. it in. And I think if we just get that done today, I'll be happy. I agree. So I say, I say get all that done. I think that's pretty safe Yeah. on all the windows. It's a lot of work, not there's that many. 18 windows, yeah. I think, left to go. Yeah, and then we'll see where we're at. So we haven't even got started, guys, and we're already running into a myriad of problems. And this is kind of why we do preliminary install stuff to find all the problems that we're gonna have. Only with this set of three windows in the living room, there's new problems. When we installed the uh, wall panels, we were putting the splines in, and the spline in this corner is actually a little bit too long. It's sticking out. And so that will have to be flush cut or something in order to allow the header panel to be installed. 
Of course, you're gonna cut it one way or the other because you're just not gonna get the header in there, but at least we identified it early. At the top of this window trimmer, this foam is actually sticking down just a little bit too far. It looks like the hot knifed area for this window is going to need to be slightly adjusted up there. So before we can even put the sills and trimmers and all that stuff in, we kind of have to do some cleanup, touch up, and modification. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna work for these through these three windows together. Yep. Get them done before we duplicate it around on the rest of the house because we might we'll, we'll probably find something else. So good idea to start small. We've kind of learned that. Yeah. Just pick one, try to get all the way through yep. it. Identify problems. Do one window, then do three windows, and then do fifty windows. Right. Sold. So that's 29 and three quarters plus three inches. It's more like 29 and a six, 29 and a half ish. And that's 47 and a half on the safe side. Done, 47 and a half. Looking good, looking good. Does this stuff really expand? No. For good measure, dry fit the trimmers before you get married to them, right? Yeah, I think it'll fit. I think she'll go. This is a little snug, but I think once you get it around the corner, it'll it'll look good. Yep. Okay.
Bugaboo looks like he could get used to this. Our forklift repair people have arrived. Something I can carry up and test fit? Yeah, these two. Okay. Um, they're gonna be a little narrow and that's okay. Okay. You're gonna use these as these headers. Little, oh, gotcha. We just um, put foam in the Yeah, we can foam the back side of them. Yeah, they'll be a little narrow, that's okay. Not lengthwise, but width gotcha. wise. Gotcha. Good enough. Hey, hey, it's working. Awesome. Or do you need to rip this down? Um, so that one's ready to go up and that one's ready to go up. Those are the sills. Okay, so I can so put those can in. Foam, start foaming and put those in. Gotcha. Yep. And I'll get the sides and everything. Okey doke. Bugaboo, I'm sorry. That's why I put you in the corner. Bugaboo, I have to do some more, okay? Oh, Bugaboo, are you leaving? Are you leaving, Bugaboo? Are you leaving? Are you leaving? So it sounds like the forklift had a loose wire. <laughs> yeah, I looked at the wire and it was it had just pulled out, but it was still sitting there and I didn't like give it a good tug. So yeah, that's all it was. It's nice to come fix it so quick. Uh, yeah, that's huge. Better get my step stool.
have to say, having these sills in makes the house look a lot more polished and not seeing those screws sticking out. So I like this. I could get used to this. Oh yeah, right on the money. Should I start cleaning up and watering the garden? Yeah. What time is it? Uh, it's getting late. I don't know what time it is. Boom. Done. Forklift works. We got We got five windows ready to put five in. Five windows done. Bugaboo's happy. Quit while we're ahead. I did it. Did what? I tied up the tomatoes. About time, the my gosh. The aren't deep enough because of the bark. Yeah. So now they're so huge that they're falling over. Yeah, and Look they're not it. even big tomatoes yet. Show them some of these tomatoes, like they're insane. Wow. Aren't tomatoes always insane? Like I've never seen a tomato plant that was um, modest. I've these never things had a are good going nuts. Crop, so. Oh, nice. Everything is looking really good. So these are the ten fingers, huh? You know, I don't know. They kind of have a long I Roma I only look. I got like one, but now I sort of think I got a bunch. I don't uh -huh. know the difference between the ten fingers and the grandma. Oh, the grandma tomatoes or whatever. Right. Yeah, these kind of have a Roma shape to them, nice and long. When these ripen, oh, oh my. Gosh, we better have the windows in and the roof on because we're not going to be doing much. Oh, I am canning these two. I'm not. Heck yeah. There's a nasturtium. That makes flower. my day right there. It's hiding though. There's so many tomatoes that have escaped outside the fence. Really? Yeah. Oh, the deer are going to have a heyday. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Looking pretty good. Oh my gosh, there's such a wad in there. Man, this basil's ready to prune again. Look. Can you see how that's starting to get kind of like... Yeah. More pesto. Yeah. Spacing win. Spacing, Spacing fail. <laughs> Coming to the conclusion that we maybe should have gone with deeper potato bins because... I don't know. These are going don't bonkers. plant bins at all, so we'll see. Yeah. But well, you we'll filled see. them up at least once, right? With dirt. You've topped them up. Yeah. Well, I planted them and right. then... I went through and added more. Right. So maybe we could go one more mound, maybe like mound yeah. it up. Yeah, I don't know. We have the soil. Could be another Little 10 soil. pounds of tomato, potatoes. You, you mean stack another thing on top Just of it? Just add like a mound of dirt. Maybe, yeah. Like mound it up. I don't know. It doesn't hurt to try, right? Right. More dirt, more potatoes. These look like they're ready for more dirt or really soon will be. 